PRP has gained immense popularity as an aesthetic procedure over the world in the past few years. And that's exactly what we are going to discuss in today's video. So what exactly is PRP? PRP stands for Platelet Rich Plasma. This is a plasma concentrate full of platelets which is derived from your blood. For example, if your platelet count normally is about 1.5 to 4 lakhs, our endeavor when we are making the PRP is to push this platelet count up to 10 to 12 lakhs, making a concentrate of plasma which is very rich in platelets. So your next question probably is, so what if I have a platelet rich plasma concentrate? Well, these platelets have inside them small vessels or small granules, also known as the alpha granules. And these contain inside them magical growth factors. And when these growth factors are injected into your scalp skin or into your facial skin, in the face, they cause a collagen remodeling, thereby helping your skin get tighter, more supple and more radiant. And in the scalp, they increase the growing phase of your hair. That means they help the hair becoming thicker, denser, and also increase your hair count. So how is the procedure done? Well, the procedure has two main aspects to it. One is collection of your blood and the preparation of the PRP, and the second is the actual procedure itself. After taking your consent, we take a small amount of your blood and send it for standard testing for blood-borne infections. After that, the blood is put through a process called centrifugation. Centrifugation is essentially spinning your blood in a machine to separate components of your blood. And once these components are separated, we get the blood, the PRP, the platelet-rich plasma, and on top of that, the PPP, the platelet-poor plasma. And it is this middle part, which is the platelet-rich plasma, which is what we want to withdraw into our syringes and make it ready for use. This procedure typically takes about 25 minutes, 20 to 25 minutes. Once the PRP is ready, we inject it into your scalp or your skin depending upon your requirement. Now, do you need PRP? If you are suffering from mild to moderate baldness or if you have dry, lusterless, dull skin, you are a good candidate for PRP. If you are a young patient who doesn't have time to apply medication morning and night, you are a good candidate for PRP. PRP is not the answer to the full solution, but it is a bridge between medical and surgical treatment. It's an add-on therapy, but it does well. So you can consider it particularly for patients who have busy schedules and want fast results. One of the most common questions I'm asked is, is this procedure painful? Well, for the face, we apply anesthetic cream and there is minimal discomfort during the procedure. And for the scalp, we use a specialized anesthetic technique and most of our patients tolerate this procedure very, very well. So how often should one get this procedure and who should not get this procedure? While there are no guidelines of how frequently this procedure should be done, typically recommended period in between two sessions is about four to eight weeks depending from person to person. Who should not get this procedure? Patients with blood-borne diseases, blood-borne infections, pregnant and lactating women should not get this procedure now. So I hope this video helped you gain some insight into the procedure that is PRP. If you have more doubts, visit a dermatologist near you. And if you like such informational content, please visit our Facebook page and like it. Thank you.